Stop. Hey. Hey, stop. <laughs> we have stuff going on here, people. We have candy. We have candy. We also have the golden tooth. We're going to give the tooth. You know why? Because you can't handle the tooth. The tooth hurts. That's right. Somebody forgot to turn it back in emotionally. We need the tooth back now. Okay? You know, I never thought about that. Like sweet tooth. Like we're talking about candy. See? Unbelievable. I know. Sweet tooth. I'm the really tooth am. hurts, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. All right. We're celebrating too. I have four days till I get my kidney stones out. Pebbles <laughs> and Bam Bam. Yeah, they're going to disappear. Yep. They Hopefully are. very quickly. Yes. Right. So this is going to be another exciting okay, episode. Person. Oh, i got to get the comments up. We don't care. Well, welcome. Yeah. We're so glad to have you here tonight. Yes, we are very excited about our life. Hope you, <laughs> hopefully you are with yours Well, we as know well. the world's crazy right now. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah, it's crazy. But we're here. We all love each other. We had a good day. We hopefully had a good Hopefully you're day. having a good day. we got right. a lot of fun stuff going on. We had one guest leave. we got another guy coming yeah. in. Yep. About a week he'll be in, and he's a triple amputee. He'll be here staying at the right. Warrior House, which is right there. And over there is our house, and we're not showing it to you because you don't pay us you enough money for that. You can handle that too. <laughs> so the truth was won by Neil Green yep. last time, which right. was Friday. No, no. Uh, on Monday. I know it's very confusing. Oh, it's so weird. Like what day it is? Yeah, I don't. I told you I don't know what day of the week you're stuck on. I'm kind of stuck on. It feels like Thursdays all the time. See, I've been Doesn't... stuck on Monday. Really? Yeah, I keep thinking yeah, it's a Monday weird. or Sunday. That's Monday. Sunday. COVID has ruined our lives. Okay, Which, that's what it's it done. Ruined it. It's ruined it. I got it. I should. So we got some. We got Lydell here. I love Lydell. He's, he's great. We've got well, a picture of we Lydell. We have a picture of Lydell. Oh, it's an amazing. He's still a stud. He's, he's. I think he's 84. He actually wears your hair better than you do. You know. It's wrong. I know. Yeah, don't put him up yet. Oh. Yes, the Candyman can. That's right. This is the episode about candy. Oh, Randy's on. Randy, you need to tell us, like, are we loud yeah. enough? Randy, give, live, uh, Randy has been uh, staying with us, or he left now, abandoned yeah. his left post. Us. Yeah, left us. Just left. But he was our producer. He was our Gelman. He was our Gelman. Yeah. And it was really fun to have him here. Yeah. Linda Putz, Minnesota's burning. Yeah, I know. We've been I praying know. for you guys. That'll be our prayer tonight. We're going to pray for Minnesota and the craziness that's going on there. We hate it's it. It's crazy. Yeah, we hate it. Yeah. It's stupid. The whole thing. Well, it's not. I mean, yeah, there's, you know. Yeah. So we I just hate it. that there's this kind of issues. The other Beth has joined us. Thank you, Beth. Just thank you, Beth, for coming. And we're all worried about Minnesota and stuff like that. But it's hot in Florida. And we hit uh, like 91 or 93 today, I think, you guys. So yeah, yeah that was pretty exciting. So yeah. what else are we going to do today? we got a course line of the day if you're new with us tonight and you're watching by way of videotape. Who even knows what videotape is? Anymore? I don't know. I don't even believe you said that. I don't know if I that. told you this. Does anybody <laughs> even know cassettes anymore? Most of this crowd does because we're pretty old and some of us are entering our senility phase. Right. Uh, Randy says it sounds good. Yeah. Uh, Erickson is now on. The Putts is on. May the Putts be with you. She should have a shirt that says may the Putts be with you. Don't call me Putts. I had to laugh, Randy. You'd appreciate this. Like right before we went on, the camera wasn't working. I don't know what it is. It, I, <laughs> did he just... I was, at, I was itching my chest. Was Did he point to me? <laughs> Not really. We don't know what happened, Randy. Yep. Yep, we don't know. The other Beth is it's here. All a mystery. The other Beth says it's 112 in Alabama. Honey, she's in Arizona. No, she's in uh, she's she? in Alabama. She oh, are you in, in Alabama? No, wait a minute. You're in Arizona. You're in Arizona, I aren't you? I apologize. Yeah. I meant that. Actually, Randy's in Arizona because we read the weather for him today. I'm like, it's going to be 112 there. His flight... Took off at 2 o'clock yesterday. I had him there by 9 a.m. Didn't want him to miss it. Oh, Heidi Erickson says, yeah. oh, man, we do have a lot of Minnesotians. Yeah, Is we that do. How you say Minnesotans. That? Yeah. Minnesotans. Minnesotans. There you we have to go. Roll. Minnesota, you just camp on the on the vowels. Camp on Minnesota. Yeah, his, uh, well, camp now my sister-in-law, Julie, I love how she talks. She always oh. goes, oh, oh, oh. Aaron Free is watching. Let's take a look at Aaron. How you doing, Aaron? Is your dog okay? <laughs> Dog. Serious, you had to go there. Um, Let's just not go there. Minnesota. If he brings stuff, stuff up, I'm just going to blame you. Uh, it's 45 in Alabama. Oh, that's right. Pandora's Alabama. Wow. Wow. That's amazing how different it can be. That's crazy. 45 in Alabama, free. Says Pandora, that. we're in Alabama. Okay. Uh, but Alabama's got Krispy Kreme. That'll always warm your heart. Krispy Kreme. Cockles of your heart. Sorry. Yeah, I, we might have said this story. Somebody came to visit us, and they had to have Krispy Kreme. We have a Popeye's chicken. Yeah. We're, we're going to do this on Facebook one day. We'll probably record it. We're going to do the test. We're going to compare the Popeye's chicken, spicy chicken sandwich, to a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Well, they've already done that. That was a big That's issue. That's not ours. This audience okay. clamors for this kind of taste I have test. to tell you, I'm not going to have Popeye's. He took me there one time. I'm like, 
everything is like okay air and free way in on this. fried popeyes any place else but alabama and louisiana amazing we got one up the street here Pitiful. honey you took me in indiana oh yeah like that's known for its spicy <laughs> food today i put some chili pepper on the hamburger gave gave the girl gave oh us. aaron free was kidding okay what's the temperature in alabama let us know minnesotians minnesotians oh minnesotans so didn't Sodians. I've never heard it called that. Putts. I don't. I don't know. Think she knows what she's talking 81 about. Eighty-one degrees in Alabama. Yeah. See, it's getting nice. Beth, there's a lot of Minnesota. The... Actually, what's really funny is while you guys are starting to get great weather, we've had rain every day. Now the good thing is, is it will get sunny at times, and then it goes back to rainy. But wow, we've had a lot of rain lately. Um, thanks for sharing. There was eight yeah, shares right. of last time's program. Of wasn't our, our best sound. program, <laughs> but we still had about eight hundred and twelve. You can look; it, it shows it yeah. on there. About eight hundred and something views. We got to build the audience. These things are a lot of work. We appreciate your help. You all got to share. Okay, Putz, you got to share Pandora. I know, he Pandora. gets frustrated. I do put a lot of time into this. You guys Pandora. probably wouldn't be shocked at how much you, I put. <laughs> you got to share. Randy Phillips, you got to share all six of your friends. Randy, we'd like to hear it. Um, Aaron says it's 80 there. So you guys, when we're done, please share it. Oh, so Michael Scott said we got crazy rainstorm today. And okay, he's in Buffalo. Oh, right. Yep. Yeah, we talked to somebody in Buffalo and they were going to try to do yard work. Yeah. Yeah. Nick said he was going. Oh yeah, to do Nick Jankowski. Yeah. He's a friend of ours. Yep. He was uh, redoing all his yard. He lives in Cheektowaga. Cheektowaga. I do like all the names up there. They are fun. Cheektowaga, Tonawanda, West Seneca. That's fun. That's right. That's well, really fun. Amherst. That's a weird one. But all yeah, right. All well, can I start news. chewing? So I got some fun stuff. Yep. You guys send me such great stuff, and know that just because I don't use it the next time, I, I save it. I'm saving stuff. We now have Canada weighed in. Susan Wells has now joined us. Hi, Susan. Susan, hopefully your audio is on. We need to know from you what's the status up there with your COVID. Those Canadians are so afraid of germs. It's like they may never open that country. I'm telling you. Pandora says she doesn't like to share her donuts. Really? See, I'm just not a donut person. I can't. No, I'm Too not much either. sugar. But sharing is caring. Michael said that. You can tell he said kids. Sharing is caring. Right, Michael said kids. <laughs> He's still got them living with him. I don't know what happened you know, there, but he's supposed to have them exit, but they're not exiting. Right. We have a dog barking. I didn't even know we had a dog. Yeah, we remember we had neighbors that just. Over there? Yeah, they have two now. Shut the dog up. That's Seriously. <laughs> what? A dog on our show, people. Wow. All right. So tonight's show, we got some fun stuff. What yeah, are you we start do. With? Okay, so I have to share this. You guys will appreciate this. This is our good buddy Lydell. Yeah. Here's yeah. Lydell. Yeah. All right. Is that not awesome? Isn't that great? Kind of offensive, to be honest. Right. I just love that. Like, he actually, now I have a picture. Oh, see, yeah, there's me. See? He wears it better than but Jim does. But that's at 730 in the morning. See, that's sharpness right there. My hair wakes up angry. <laughs> wakes up angry. <laughs> My hair has an attitude in the morning. Back to Lydell. So who do you like better? Give me some love. Tell me what it you think. Literally, it literally stands up. I, it, and then what's so funny though is we get on the show and then because you could, my hair is getting frizzy and frizzy because of all the rain, but his starts drooping. Yeah. You know, he gets a little It's droop. just nice and sparky tonight yeah. though. I just coiffed it it's for you. It's just, all. it's gorgeous. Susan, again, we want to know the weather update. We want to know the COVID update up there. Lydell says he loves can can Canadians. C we, but Canadians. I don't think Susan knows this. The town basically next to us, Maplewood, where I live, was Little Canada. Oh, like well, that was its yeah. real name? No, it was its real name. Yeah, this, oh. the town of, or the city of Little Canada. I wonder why. Is Little Canada a city, Lydell, or is it just a town? I don't even know. A, lo a lot of Canadians went there, you think? I, I don't know. There? Why was it called Little Canada? Lydell knows these things because he they, helped settle the they, state. They probably wanted to go where it was warmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. They went over to the left slightly. They went west, right? Lydell, about six miles from Maplewood. There you go. No, I meant warmer to, from Canada. Well, yeah. It's like the Canadian geese. They're oh, I guess to... it isn't that far down, though. No, it's not really. It's Depending on where you're in got? Canada. 200 miles from Canada, is, you know, something yeah. like that. Cameron Rivers, we love Cam. He's awesome. Susan says kale is her candy. Tonight's kale. episode is all about candy. I'm telling you. You're going to find out how little you knew about candy. I didn't realize how little I knew about candy. I think you're going to walk out of here with a good toothache. That's what I think. <laughs> May the... You can't handle the tooth. May the tooth be with you. Oh. So give us some slogans for that. If oh, you would. Can't. see, they're already see. Lee Ann's already like candy cigarettes, man. When I was a kid, oh, everybody wanted. Candy. Lydell says Little Canada is a city. It is. A I city. thought it was a town or a village. I didn't know. It's perplexing. So give us some homework. We on were that. at this store today, and this I got to tell you, there was toilet paper. I don't know about your stores, but finally, you can find toilet paper at the store today. Pause. The Canadian Susan Wells is currently yeah. walking to Tim Hortons because it's hot up there. Wow. Yeah, but what is her hot? I she mean, lives in Toronto, like right on the lake. Yeah. 
Her just north of the lake. Yeah, her is, it up. Yeah, but she's like from Saskatchewan, which never did frost. Yeah. We're going to get a rainstorm, you guys. Okay, it's you guys, it might rain on us. <laughs> That'll be fun. Right over there, it's going to rain. I know. We almost took it inside tonight, but we didn't. Nah, we're tough. Nah. Butterfingers, Michael, I could go with you on that. All right, so then back to the... Back to Walmart. We went to Walmart today. Yes. Okay. So I, she wore the mask. I didn't. There you go. You don't have to it. wear it down You here. guys, he puts it in the cart. In the cart. He puts in it cart. in the cart. I don't even understand. If the cops come up. I'm they not pull even out the sure. Taser, boom. I put it on. I don't know. Not even sure about that. But I, I have know. to tell you, like nobody, I, I guess all the stores now have like one way and do not enter. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody's nobody doing was. I ain't doing it. <laughs> I just tell him I don't speak English. I always, no, I am, so, I am a rule follower. But look at that's some serious toilet paper. Now, if you notice the brand, though, it's like Bob's brand of toilet no, paper. No, that's Charmin right there. No, it ain't, is it? It is really? Charmin. Really? Yes. The good stuff? <sighs> yeah, but I think they might have just put it out. Tim Horton but is awesome, Michael there. Scott says. He's in Buffalo. He's got it right down the road. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, we love okay. it. So, Becky Wright is not watching. One of my people. There you go. Okay. There you, you go. You got people, honey. You got yeah, people. Yeah, we do. We got people. All right, All right. before we go on to our candy... I have to show you this little, this little video. Now, if you're a cat lover, I just want you to know oh the dog is not hurting the cat. Oh boy! And I have some cat videos kind of hurting dogs. So. Does anybody really care if the cat gets <laughs> yes. Hurt, really? Yes, we've already established. Pandora doesn't even care, and she cares about everything. We have a lot of cat lovers. Honey, Pandora don't even. And they're proven to be more intelligent than dog owners. We've we did find that, that out, but that was by a survey of cat owners. So that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we're going to show this. Jim Jackson, another one. We're I, showing the video. Oh my bad. Here we go. I oh, see. I told you, get the cat in line, Bob. Get you good for nothing, little scrounge. Come here, you He's little. He's pulling little him by bastard. his collar. Come here, over, get over here. And I don't even. I, how many times do I have to tell you? How's that, Mom? Is that good? No, you want him over my like, left? I'll put the little seriously? scum over here. Watch him. Hey, Look, get back here. He's get got his back eye on here. Something. Get back. Stop right there. I mean it this time. <laughs> Next time I'll bite. I love that video. It was cute. I got Who cares it. if the cat I love golden retrievers. Who cares? Bill Smith artist joined us. You Hi, know what that Bill. means? Bad weather Bad in Tennessee. Weather. Yeah. Well, you could Top be... is up. Yeah, and the boat. He's and the boat. the boat. Yeah, the boat is grounded. That. How's your yeah. boat doing? Is Don't your boat okay? Don't squeeze the Charmin. He's had the boat in the water already. I know. I saw that with his dogs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's got some cute little dogs. Yep. Dale Burrow. Well, you know what? I think we should just go straight to one of our questions. I think we should. Here we go. Get your pencils out. All right. Get so your styluses out. Here we go. What was Here's your favorite candy as a kid? Okay. Okay, so what was your favorite, start weighing in what your favorite candy was as a kid. Because we're really kind of curious. I was looking up old candies and trying to remember, like, what did I eat as a kid and what did I like? And I'm like Leanne. I did like the, I, oh, wait a minute. There were two different types of cigarettes, though. They were the kind that had the gum inside. Did you have those? No. And then there was some that was just a candy. We just had the Fred Flintstone kind. Like the real ones? <laughs> no, you remember the video we showed? Of yeah, it was episodes? like a real cigarette. Yeah, though. I was like, no, they were candy, but they were Fred Flintstones. I don't know what they were. All right. Well, so anyhow, wait, do I? Oh, my sister likes these. Oh, yeah. All right. Does anybody, if you know what that is, just give us a thumbs up. Yeah. I, I wasn't raised with those, I don't think. I don't remember those, but she was all excited. And you can see right there, it says on it, they were from 1847. Those suckers are old. Right. And she said that um, they're coming back. I guess they didn't make them for a couple of years. But I do know people that designed cakes and stuff. And I know Nikos are used a lot for cakes. So um, that alone. Susan Wells, so we can't spread this. But this is actually ammunition <laughs> we could use against her. She <laughs> says candy cigarettes. cigarettes were the best. See? Okay. All right. Yeah. Patty Godball says dips. Dips. I what were dips? Oh, the, they were like little drops of candy on, on, on paper, a paper. right? But you always ate the paper, too. Remember that? Oh, yeah. And then Lydell says dots. Do you mean the they were kind of yeah, like, no, a, dots. Chip, like yeah. a gumball kind They're of the, thing? Yeah, and those are like a really old candy. I didn't oh, know that. Aaron Free. You could tell he was money. He's from California. He likes C's candy, okay, which is like 30 know. different kinds. It's like Fanny Farmer. I don't what know. What kind of that? I mean, what is does it, it like even chocolate? Mean? Are they yeah, chocolate? Gwen says dark chocolate sponge candy. Or dark chocolate, sea salt, caramels. No, we're talking about childhood candy. There weren't no dark chocolates back there, Gwen. Get it together. No, I think, wasn't like Almond Joy? It was originally a dark chocolate, wasn't it? No, Mounds are dark. How many times have I told you that today? Sing the commercial for the people. Oh, Sing the Mounds. Commercial. I can't remember. <laughs> Almond Joys have nuts. Mounds, mounds don't. don't. Okay, but they were made of dark chocolate. The Mounds. And they're old. The mounds, yeah, but well, that's like new. it. So she's, but listen to her. Gwen's going dark chocolate yeah, sponge candy with sea salt caramel. There wasn't any oh, of that. Oh, sea salt. Pandora yeah, says, my mom didn't let us have much candy as a kid, trying to think. Oh, please, Pandora. Leanne says, ribbon candy. Do you remember that stuff? Ribbon. Yeah, it was a, like a ribbon. It looked like, 
Remember those uh, back in the days of early computers? Oh, I think I they do had those. It was like a ribbon you had to plug yeah. it in. Okay, it was that? It looked like that. I thought ribbon candy. And then uh, all Michael Scott remembers the Nico or Neko or whatever it is candies. I don't know if they were in Minnesota. Does anybody remember that? Hey, Mike Clinton. Mike Clinton says his grandmother always bought those. Mike's out of the hospital, back home. Good to have you home, brother. Linda says marshmallow ice cream cones. Oh, I remember those. And then that's Beth, so funny. I didn't see those in my search. Yeah, the other yeah, I Beth, remember those. The other best says Milky Way. We were not allowed to buy candy cigarettes. I know Steve and I would sneak up to yeah, we the weren't handy, really allowed to either. The handy pantry, and they had candy cigarettes. The handy pantry. Steve always made me buy them because he never wanted to buy cigarettes. That way he could tell mom, "No, I didn't buy them." Okay. I was Steve's sort of sin. Yeah. You know what? He's got some stories. Yeah. Yeah. I think Steve backs up most of the stories. Yeah. I think they're pretty true. Mike Clinton says fun dip. Oh, fun dip. Okay, so I, I did read. Is. Okay, that was when it had a little candy stick and it was powder oh. and you would dip it in. But they were actually saying that actually they were better for kids because they ate it slow and they didn't need as much of it. But it was double candy because you dipped with a candy stick. Oh, say, a lot of sugar. So Pandora's trying to relate to Aaron. My grandmother would send us a box of Seize chocolates from Hawaii for Christmas. Ooh, that that's sounds money. really yummy. Michael Scott didn't care for those, but they were the gooey candy those strange neighbors gave out during Halloween. Yeah. Oh, don't you remember? Like, yeah. Oh, there was a candy. Oh. I meant to bring, show a picture of it. It had molasses in it. It was like a yellow and red. I forget the name of them. Do you remember those? It was a yellow and red wrapper. They were really old. They had molasses and something oh, else in sugar it. sugar babies? No, no, no. Oh. It was like a little, I, you know what? I'll try to find it. Okay. Because... Yeah, I Randy like says Kool Aid with sugar, and you would dip your finger in and eat that. Yeah. Remember that before you put I the did water do in. That, Virginia joined. You're late, Virginia. Well, she's working. Oh right. She's yeah. Tell us how many haircuts you've done now. Yeah. Linda says moms are dark. Yep. Mike All right, Clinton. so I'm gonna real quick just show these were ours. Oh yeah. Okay, I loved Jolly Ranchers, but the watermelon, like the watermelon flavored. Oh my word. We need to know. And, oh, an apple, I like could, green apple. I couldn't figure out when the, 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 she thinks the Jolly Ranchers have always been out. I don't yeah. think so. I think they come out maybe in the 70s or the 80s. I'm a tad older than him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And then I always went for the mounds. Mounds were like the money to me. I, the Alma Joys were okay. They were my backup. But, but uh, yeah. I wonder if mounds have made a comeback because coconuts kind of made a comeback. You yeah. know, they were well, it wasn't real popular, but I think it's made a comeback. Don't you Let's think? see. Yeah, I would think so. I'm really kind of curious what that candy's called now. It was yellow and. Oh, the other best says bit of honey. Bit of honey. <laughs> Those have been around forever. That's been around forever. Yep. I wasn't a fan. Oh, and Gwen also says bit of honey. You know, when you would get them in your, for Halloween and you'd be like, oh. Okay, Linda Putz just said Mary Jane. I think that's the secret word for marijuana. Mary Jane. Isn't it? Mary Jane. She says Mary Jane's. Was that a candy? She's talking about dope. <laughs> We're going to have to turn her in. Oh, we forgot our question. Remember? What question? So who were we? Oh, we were with some somebody that was very young the other day, and he was talking about 420. Oh, yeah, the question. Yeah. Do you know what 420 means? Does anybody know what 420 means? Weigh in on we that. We were educated. Mike Clinton on that. probably knows what 420 we is. We did I'm not know what 420 was. Linda Putz says, Sonny, Mary Jane's. Oh, maybe that's what they're called. Oh, what so that's called? what the candy is. Sunny Mary Jane's? I don't know. They could not. You guys have me. Oh, and then Jim Jackson comes up with Charleston Chews. Oh, those drove me crazy, Jim. And then he says, oh, Henry's and clearly Canadian. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. She, I think she's right. Clearly Canadian? You're talking about the water, right, Jim? I think that came out in the 80s, didn't it? Clearly Canadian? Thanks for getting me hooked on those. Oh, yeah, we did. You okay. know what? It was Mary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Jim Jackson used to come and visit us at our office up in Indianapolis. Yeah. He lived on the south side, I think. And we had a little fridge for all the guests. He would hit that thing so hard. Debbie had clearly Canadian water in it. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, right. Yeah, so Jim's just saying, yeah, thanks for hooking me on clearly Canadian. I don't think that's around anymore. Okay, you can show him. This is the candy. Oh, wait a minute. Oops. I lost it. Oh, it's a Mike, viper. Michael Scott says 420 is the day to celebrate Mary Jane. I mean marijuana. Yes. We didn't know that. Yeah. All right, you can show him that one. Randy that's, Phillips says weed. That's Mary Jane's. Oh. This is Mary Jane's? Oh, the candy Mary Jane's. Yeah. Yeah, it's got, oh, it's not a great picture. Sorry. That's a truth. Anyhow. It was, yeah, it has molasses in it. Who, who it came up with that? Linda. Linda Putz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, now, Mayor, um, Virginia Mahoney says, so you must remember our conversation about Australian lollies, Candy. Yes. Tell so, them yeah, lo well, lolly, well, she would play the game. Was that the name of the game? So funny how things are so different. But you also called them candy canes, didn't you? Or I know now it's a vapor. Okay, Somebody someone's at our, our door. Front door. <laughs> Can you hear that? 
Okay. It's got to be Amazon. It maybe. Well, I'm not. We're not expecting anything. Should I go to the door, That's people? Okay. I don't have a way to take you with. Yeah, me, lollies. Though. I do remember it was called lollies, but it was something else. Can you see anybody moving or anything? Yeah. But they would play this game. We played it at Easter. You turn your back. They throw candy over your head, and then you turn around, and everybody runs after the candy, if I have that right. I can't remember what that game was called, though, in Australia. It sounds something like Ding Dong Ditch or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. No? No. Okay. I don't know. Those Australians have some pretty weird stuff going no, on. No, I always there. liked... They're, okay, I think we're going to get a storm. <laughs> they're upside down, you know, the whole thing. Yeah, notice the ferns starting to move here, people. They are ferns, right? Do I have that right? They're not ferns. What are they? Everything's a fern to him. It's it's a type of palm. Oh, right. Okay. So I do have this question, too. Oh, she, Linda says, I think Mary Jane's had some peanut butter in them. Oh, is it peanut butter? I'll have to look. I just I remember know. I didn't like them. Thanks for bringing up it a might question be nice. nobody has the answer to. It, nice call, um, Linda. Well, what kind of candy did you not like? Oh, Lydell says Jolly Ranchers. So he's with you on Jolly Ranchers. Oh, he likes Jolly See, they're really yeah. good. Actually, it's kind of made me have a hankering for hankering? a jo- I have a hankering for a hankering. Jolly Rancher. Oh, you know what? We're into. We should tell them the candy we're into. Tell them about the place we go to get your fruit. Oh, okay. Take so the mic. there's this place that I go to, and it's it's very it's almost has a third world feel. <laughs> It doesn't have it. It is a third world fancy fruit. Have you guys seen the IKEA commercial where the lady comes running out and she's got all of her stuff and she's like, "Honey, start the car," because she's got such great deals. She's trying to get out of there. That is how it feels when I go in there. The deals I get on fruits and vegetables is outstanding. How many avocados do you get? I mean, what's well, not the avocados? Oh, oh. It's the Brussels sprouts. Okay, how much? Like Randy, when he was here, he went into the store with me, and he was embarrassed because I was taking so many Brussels sprouts, like three pounds of Brussels sprouts. For how much? It was like, I think it was, it wasn't quite $2 for a th- like three pounds of Brussels sprouts. Yeah. No lie. Yeah. So anyhow, they do have these little ginger candies and he loves them. They're, well, Sydney Randy loves too. them too. Yeah. yeah. Randy they have a chewy them. kind and then they have a solid kind. Oh, yeah. I like okay. anything with ginger. Done with my rant. All right. Worst candy Yeah, worst ever. candy. Okay. So I will tell you what ours are. Okay. Because okay. I, you know, just the thought of this candy, like even, it just even really kind of makes me sick at my stomach. And I don't know, I hate circus peanuts. Oh yeah. It's that texture thing. I, I think I've eaten like two candy corns in my life. Little pieces. Yeah, see, hated it. That's another one. And when we were kids, people would give you like a handful of candy corn in your yeah. Halloween thing. That's disgusting. Okay. I, I will mean, tell you. It was you, not in a bag. It was like, ugh, ugh. It's like the number one candy in Alabama. What is? A candy corn. Really? Yeah. That's what they say. They have, say that. Do we have a question as to why it's called candy corn? Well, it was called chicken feed, and they changed it. That didn't it. work. I am a wealth of right. candy knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Linda Putt says the doorbell was the dog next door. Oh, we did the, the that game for one of the girls' birthday parties. I, I thought Lally it was scramble. Easter. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, she says, I uh, Gwen that. says Pop Rocks. She hates Pop Rocks. That's how Mikey died, remember? Little Mikey. He likes everything. Pandora no, says, he's any, not. I know. Oh. That was the urban legend. Don't you remember that when we were kids? That's Mikey nice died. Rumors. Mikey from Life Life Candy. Okay, Reese's Pieces, Randy. Uh, oh, Nico's says. Patty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate yeah. those two. Okay, Michael Scott says, no, those are not ferns, Jim. I'll never live down south. And that, no, those aren't ferns. All right, <laughs> shut up. Michael. Oh, and also, Pandora had to correct me. It's palms. They're palms. Right. Linda says, I don't like Mary Jane's. Well, then why the heck are you bringing oh, not, them up? Oh, not chicken feet. I have to say it better. Chicken feed. Okay, uh, black licorice. Lydell says he doesn't like yeah, that. I, I didn't I think either that's a prior taste. until we went to Sweden and we had Debbie introduce me to. Remember, they imported it was in a black box, had yellow writing on it, and it was black licorice. Do you remember those? You only got it in health food stores, and it was oh. supposed to be good for you. I don't know yeah. what licorice does. But no, it's supposed to be good for your adrenals. Yeah, I yeah. had it in. So that was decent, but no, I wouldn't buy that. I'm with you on that one, Lydell. She Pandora loves ginger. Uh, Mary is watching. Linda says, I like that. Would you get off the Mary Jane's, Linda? Jeez. Pandora says, I love circus peanuts and candy corn, Pandora says. Beth yeah. said she likes cinnamon candy of any kind. No, the other Beth says, cinnamon candy of any kind, do not like. Oh, no. Oh, she doesn't like. Does not like. Oh, I, do I, not like. Oh, yeah, I put cinnamon yeah. just about everything. Uh, yeah, he was on oil. everything. I got a kick. Do you that. remember when you were a kid, did you make the little cinnamon toothpicks? Well, you probably didn't, Beth, because you don't like cinnamon. But remember, you would you would uh, yeah. put cinnamon oil and yep. you would boil them. Or, oh, I can't remember. Yeah, and you would, then you would, suck on, you would just oh, suck on the sticks. Great. Aaron Free says bubblegum in baseball cards was not good. You know, yeah, I'm with that I too. liked bubblegum. I liked it. Like, I we were talking about gum. bazooka, how yeah. great bazooka was. Love we, bazooka. we saw, a, we had a bazooka t shirt for a while. We I was going to go through it and try to find it, but today was got, it got 
ahead of me. And okay, here's what Patty Gabo says. If you mix candy corn with salted cashews, you might change your mind. It's sweet and salty, yummy. No. Okay, no. I do like anything salt and sweetie. Sweetie. <laughs> salt and sweet. That would probably be good. Uh, yeah. Lydell is talking to Patty and says, Hankerson. Hankerson? What the heck is Hankerson, Lydell? I don't know what that means. Uh, Donna Tresor's Maybe watching. he means he's got a hankering. Maybe he spelled it wrong. Uh, he's got a hankering. hankering. Maybe he got a hankering. See, he understands my, my English. Hankering. He's got a hankering for... All right, yeah. we got another question. What do you got? Oh, we got lots of questions. Oh, we got, I this got a tons candy test. Of, I know. You're going to be eating candy by the end of this. Tell us if you're getting hungry. I know. it's It was really actually quite interesting about candy. I could have like read about it for I a started while. my diet again today. Yeah. I had Randy with me for 10 days. The boy can eat. I think he just uses him as an excuse to no, eat. I'll no, be very honest. No, he was force feeding me. <laughs> They were a bad influence on oh, each other, let's just say. Randy, how'd we do on the lighting tonight? The ring didn't show up today, by the way. Okay. This what is the oldest candy in the US? I'm oh, sure there's yeah. people that would argue this, but supposedly this is the yep. oldest. So the candy. three options are if you can't read it, it one good blurry. and plenty, two, Charleston Chew. Oh. We she's got a Charleston <laughs> Chi, which is kind of an Asian version yeah. of it. And number three is dot. We so try which, to keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the oldest, oldest? Good and plenty. Number two, Charleston Chew. Or number three, Dots. Way oh, in I think it. Pandora's leader. She's going to the store. What? <laughs> oh, I'm going to the store right now. Okay. I hate you, Pandora. Pandora we, don't leave sweet. us with your husband. He's oh, no fun. Okay. At Christmas, you know the uh, mixes of tin, uh, popcorn tins? And you know how they put the like the salt and the sweet and the... That is like phenomenal. That's to me like crack. You know where they do the cheese popcorn yeah. and then like this caramel oh, yeah. popcorn? Yeah, yeah they, they call it Chicago style. And you mix style, it Chicago right? style. That's it. Uh, Rick Lang just joined. Rick, we want to know what's the uh, best candy you've ever had. Best. What's your favorite as a kid? Don't get exotic with the adult stuff now. Go back. Donna, her answer is number two, honey. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to go with dots. Lydell says, Charleston Chia Pet, Michael Scott. Neil Green is here. They used to be something they called candy, and it was uh, whorehound candy. And oh, your mother, you know what? Your mother asked her for some of that whorehouse candy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I asked her? You, yeah, you know. Uh, That's what you used to say as a and kid. And mother asked her. No, her mother. She, my mother asked her mother. Oh, okay. Whorehouse candy. It sounds like something I would have done, it though. It does, but... yeah. It sounds like it. Linda Putz is number three. Anna Kay, number one. Pandora says, now we know what to get sunny for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Randy Phillips is going with dots. Neil Green, that's good. That Neil Green, that might be the line. I know. There. We don't really have a line. He want, Dad, did you return the tooth? I think no, he, he did not on... return the tooth. And whoever had it return. before him really got it filthy. If you can see that. Look at that. That is nastified people. They're like glowing. You, somebody's got to take care of this stuff around here. That's pretty All bright. Right. Who else has got it? Donna says smoothies. Smoothies. <laughs> Aaron Free, he must have missed the question. He goes, what's one, two, and three? <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay, we'll put it okay, back up. Okay, we're going to put it back we'll put up because Aaron Free blacked out. Good and plenty. Okay, what is thought to be the oldest candy in the United States of America? Okay, number one, good and plenty. Number two, Charleston Chew. Charleston Chew. <laughs> also known as Charleston, Charleston Chew. Chew. And number three, dots. What is the oldest candy in America? All right. So if people are weighing in on that. Aaron, can you help us out then? Pandora, you can get that at Wholesale Candy at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Which Lobby one? Hobby Lobby has candy? I don't know. She says. Hobby Lobby does have candy, don't they? I don't they? know what she's talking about. Yeah. I have to tell you one time, um, I had to get, I was trying to get my uh, Sydney's teacher some candy and she wanted Charleston Chew. I went everywhere looking for that. Really? Because she was an amazing teacher, and oh. Sydney didn't really like her. And she knew that Sydney didn't really like her. So I was trying to be really, really nice to her, and we couldn't find it. Okay, number one. Aaron finally came in with number one. So we're kind of getting a smattering of everything. Soderlin and Soderlin's not here for accounting. Oh, we're I'm have, worried. Should we call the Soderlin's and see where they are? We probably should. All right, so the answer is what, honey? What is the oldest candy in America? Virginia says she only knows number one. Oh. Okay. We'll go back. Um, here's your here's your. Options. Yeah, it's number one. Good and plenty. Good and plenty. I didn't know people would know that. And actually, you guys, Dots is really kind of an older candy. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it was close, but it was an older candy. Yeah. So I thought I would throw that in there. There you go. Yep. Yeah. To mess with you. So yeah. the oldest candy in America is good and plenty. I would have right. gone with like Baby Ruth is what I thought because I knew that was a very old candy. Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth were, yeah. All right, Virginia only knew the one. Neil says number two, the hot, the whorehound candy, whorehouse candy. I have seen it at Hobby Lobby. Oh, that's what Pandora was saying. 
Oh. So Neil, you got to remember that you can buy the I wonder four if that's hound really... candy. Now I'm kind of curious about the candy. I'll tell you. We I wonder what it up. tastes we gotta like. We got to find out what the four hound. Well, candy I'll tell you what. While you look that up, we'll yep. go to the next question. Go to the next question. You guys, I really did find all of this quite fascinating. My little la- sad life. Okay, this is the next question. So the word Pez comes from a blank Ooh. word meaning peppermint. Is it an Italian word, a French word, or a German word? So it's the word Pez. It comes from a blank word meaning peppermint. So which do you think it is? Do you think it's an Italian word, a French word, a German word? Ooh. One, two, or free? All right, I have whorehound. I'll see if I can hold it up. In a decent way, if you can, is the screen going to change here? I don't, oh, I do remember that candy. Let me get in focus. Do we have autofocus on the camera? Yeah, I don't know. If, oh, there, there, there. There, we go. You got there it, it is. You got it? Whorehound. I wonder if, that must be like a, I have heard of that before. I'm blocking the ears here, people that did miss it. There you go. Come back. But well, Dad, you there could get it for Mom. Uh, I didn't really know. She's right. It is at, uh, Pandora says, it's at Hobby Lobby. I do remember there. that. Now that you say that, I yeah. know, I wonder what it tastes like. It looks like this. So I'll see if I can get this picture up there. This is from Vermont Country Store. I've just, they should be sponsoring Can you guys us. hear that? It's cool. So uh, let's try it again. See if I can get it to click on me. No. It? No? It's a no-go. It is? It I is. think it's, it. yeah, it's not working. But thank you for playing. Eh. Phillips did crappy on the lighting. All right, so there you go. Mm. All right, Patty. Oh, God and Cracker it. Barrel. That yeah, oh, Cracker yeah. Barrel had great candy. We don't have any Cracker Barrels by us. There was one, yeah. but it closed. Oh, did it close? Oh um, no, no, no. There is the one over there in San Francisco. Yeah. I apologize. Patty says it's German. Jim Brewster now joined us. The other best says you can get a whorehound at Cracker Barrel. Yep. Linda Putt says number three. Vin Virginia says Italian. James Brewster says greetings all. And Lori Krantz, another one of mine. So I've had four. Four. Off that list. Yeah. Oh, you have friends. Yeah. You, you have, have four friends. friends. You have four friends. <laughs> Shut it. All right. So, so it doesn't surprise me. He's all right. Did Lydell weigh in? We don't like to move ahead with the test. Lydell did weigh in. Lydell says number two. All right. And the other best said number three. All right. So what what language is Pez from? Right. Yeah. So it's actually it's number three. It's a German word, My and it's yeah for peppermint. Pez. It's short Pez. for like Pez. Oh, I like minium that. Or, <laughs> Let's go with that, honey. It doesn't sound German, though, yeah, does that? Yeah, not at all when she says it. German doesn't sound that pretty. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Whorehound Linda Punt says, never heard of it. Thank God. Otherwise, Linda would get okay. fixated with it and so talk about it all I night. I just bit my, my tongue. Uh-huh. Okay, so here's an interesting thing. Yes. I learned all kinds of stuff, I told you. Yes. So, Pez yeah. had a slogan. Yeah. Right. And it said, blank, was pro- uh, blank prohibited, Pezzing allowed. So... Wherever you couldn't do the prohibited thing, but you could still pez. You could still have some Okay, so your pezzing. options are, number one, is should it be the word drinking? Number two, the word chewing? Or number three, the word smoking? So should it be drinking prohibited, pezzing allowed? Number two, chewing prohibited, pezzing allowed? Number three, smoking prohibited, pezzing allowed? Tell us which one of those three you got. Okay. We're probably going to get wet. <laughs> okay. Pezzerstein, Michael Hogan says. Pezzerstein, Pe- yeah, Pezzerstein. Pezzerstein. Right. All right, Joshua Johnson, JJ, you're finally on. We love you, JJ. JJ and I had a nice combo last night. JJ works at UCF. Yeah. And he's a big good, college. Yeah, big college University. here in town. I think like fifty thousand. I think it's bigger. It's one of the. I think it's the third biggest college in the United States. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. It. They're. They're. Uh, I almost said their sanctuary. That's what Neil would call where Ohio State plays. You know, but what is that called? Stadium. I think it's bigger or close to Ohio he's State. He's struggling. Yeah. Right? Huh? I think it's close to the size of Ohio State. Oh, their state. Probably. Their it's yeah. so big. I don't know. Anyway, JJ runs the uh, veterans. Yeah. Uh, he rocks it. There. Yeah, he rocks it. He's amazing. Yep. We love JJ. All right. So we're coming in. Boy, mostly people are picking three. Randy Phillips says three. Brister says three. The other best says two. Um, Donna says three. Aaron says three, which he's never right. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, JJ says, hey to you, honey. Uh, and then uh, Lori says one, Pandora three, Virginia three, Linda two. So we're getting mostly, Josh says, uh, JJ says 68,000 students. 68,000. I knew it was That's pretty large. That's a huge school. Yeah. yeah. It's a big school. Jim, or Jim Richard says, I need a shower anyway. Me. Patty says yeah. number three. He's we're coming sweating. in with a lot of number threes. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe that was too easy, but it was, it's smoking. Yep. I'm it like, smoking. you guys, that was actually a slogan. Yeah. They were trying to do it to get people to stop smoking. The guy who to... actually invented Pez 
was actually anti-smoking. And so he he was trying to help people get off smoking. So he developed the, this peppermint that came in a little dispenser. Hmm. hmm. I got into this. Do you remember the bo- <laughs> you remember, do you remember the bottles on Dr. Pepper? It, the old one said that it had a, it was in a circle, and then Dr. Pepper was written up through it. And it said it had a clock, and it had the hours of ten, two, and four. Wasn't it ten, two, and four? Oh. Those were the three times of the day oh, you were supposed is. to do it. It is ten, two, and four. I think it was supposed to help you because really I, ten o'clock in the morning or the, ten o'clock think, at night. Oh, it would no, have probably been the morning, morning, right? Yeah, so it was 10, supposed to be. Four. It was supposed to have some prune juice in it initially, or originally, and stuff like that. So it was supposed to help you with up. your digestive and your poo poo platters. I didn't read that in any of my documentation. Of course, it's Lydell not backed me up. Where, didn't the old bottle say ten, two, and four? Lydell, help me out. Here. Anybody else that remembers those? There are too many drunks out there, Lori <laughs> says. <laughs> Joe Hesh, another one. All right, we're going All to. Right. Here Lori we go. says, good idea. Thank you, Lori. Yes. Good idea. She oh, with Pez? All of her ideas. Yeah, with Pez. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, ten, Randy Phillips, four. he can remember 10, 2, and 4. Okay, Lydell, why is it called a three musketeer? You know what? You oh. should, like, I should have questions up here to see if you guys, if I can stump you guys. Sometimes you guys are really hard to stump. Stump the chump. Stump them. Well, they're not chumps. Yep, Randy okay. Phillips says keeps you regular. That's what it was for. Uh, why is it called a Three Musketeers bar? Because it was made up of strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. There were three men who invented the candy, Ooh. or the inventor liked the Three Musketeers movie. Oh. It's perplexing. These are deep things. Deep. We we might be overwhelming uh, I know. Aaron Free tonight. There's a lot. He, He's still trying to get over the dog thing. St- I, you know what? He I, Really? Really? <laughs> I, I got to go Aaron to Free just said, I was right once when I became your friend, Jimmy. Aww. Is that a sarcastic line? Does he get line of the day? Is she, did anybody, has anybody been sarcastic? Wait a minute. I think that was a nice thing he said, though. So. I know. So James Brister did take a little shot, which I liked. And James Brister said, I might need a shower. Hence so it's raining. So basically, the more they put you down, the better chance they have of getting line of the day. Well, I, I don't know. They're not going to put you down. I think what we're going to do, though, is come up maybe with a t-shirt that's line of the day. Ooh. Yeah. What do you think about that? And we could send it to, well, that would be a lot of shirts, though. But we could do that. Two shirts a week. I think we could do that. We could pray about it. We could pray about it. Okay. Um, Mike Met, good to see you. Pandora, number three. Uh, one, my grandma told me. Linda's Randy, school. you can't answer the question. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. The other Beth says she needs the numbers again. Put it back up. Okay. The back other up Beth, we go. She, she drifted. Aaron Free says that was not sarcastic. Oh, Thank you, See, Ed. I See? never trust him. You know what? Here's the thing: is that he's always, you know, sarcastic, so he just assumes everybody else is. Yeah, it's Aaron Free. Yeah. Okay, so here's the numbers again for Beth. Read them to her again, honey. Oh, I have it up there. Uh, one, because it was made up of strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Two, there were three men who invented the candy, and three, the inventor liked the Three Musketeer movie. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're weighing in on it. We got a three from Pandora. Mm-hmm. She's usually right. Neil Green got a three. I don't think Neil has ever been right. Oh. Has he? Well, he had a child that was He did have one perfect. pretty sharp, sharp child. <laughs> That's right. The other best says number one. Lori says, ha ha, number one. Like she's got it all together. She something. knows. Okay, I Beth, guess. you got the numbers. All right. So there you go. Linda says one that her grandma gave her the answer. <laughs> but your grandma's been dead for about 30 years. All right. And then uh, Donna says, number three, or is that the question? Number two, three men invented it, Michael Scott says. Randy says, number one. Patty Godbaugh says, three, three. Jim Brister, who hasn't been right since before the Iraq War. Uh, Linda Putt says, yes, Dr. Pepper made you regular. Now, where's Lydell on this question? Lydell, are you? I got to check on him. Really? Lydell, you okay? <laughs> do we need to do an intervention? Lydell. He's probably like going, you know what? He's probably glad you came. We started the show with a picture of Lydell. You got to stay with we me, did. bud. We come on, come on, hey, really hey, 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 you, hey, back here, back here, there you go. Really? Poor light now. Really? Okay, so actually, you guys, it was number one. It was because it was made up of strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. That would be a kind horrible of, candy bar. It isn't you know, still, is it? No, oh, no, no, no. A long say. time ago, they just made a chocolate, but it was like, but well, it, I mean, Three Musketeers. Like, Lori, I don't Lori know. Krantz hardly ever joins us, and she says she's joined us now tonight, and she says we're making her hungry. I know. Yeah. You know what? We did want candy after this. Lydell came in, number three. I woke him back up. Thank you, Lydell. Wrong answer. All right. All right. All right. All right. What else we got? All right. Well, this is kind of interesting. So, what holiday sells the most candy? Ooh. Okay. Can you guys hear that? That's, That's thunder. Our yeah. noise canceling's on, but it might not be working. I know. 
It's cool. We love thunder in Florida. Did you know it's Orlando funny. is the lightning capital of the world? I always heard Tampa was. I think it's Tampa. Well, they, Orlando? I, I was at a camp counselor. Maybe it's Florida. It's bad. Like, you would dance across the floor in the cabins. Really? Yeah, it was serious. Like, every day at 4 o'clock, you had to go in the cabins and just sit on your cot, and you had to sit on the mattress. You couldn't touch anything. This might explain something. Yeah, and what it was a camp there. counselor. Yeah. I didn't really like it. <laughs> I know that's shocking. <laughs> She's I'm not really a camper. Sure, yeah, she didn't do the camping counselor thing real well. Yeah. You want to tell about your sailing class in college? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do so good. I got a C. <laughs> and the only reason I got a C is I, ta- I I did pass the testing part, like the you know written test. I got an A on that, thank God. But in the sailing, I got out in the middle of the lake and I couldn't get back in. So the teacher had to come get me. And if in alligator infested waters, he was not happy. Not happy. He was not happy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I took piano tuning in college. That would yeah. be my disaster. Right. It was actually kind of fun, but then the final was tune a piano. Yeah. So they took not me so down much. to First Covenant Church in Minneapolis, which was one of the mega churches. I think they probably had back in those days 1,600 people, maybe 2,000. Right. I tuned the grand piano in the sanctuary. That's atrocious. Why that's, did they let me in? I got to tell you, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm sure somebody came in 10 minutes after. All right, Michael Scott okay. says Halloween. Gwen says number two. Linda says number one. Donna says number two. Virginia says it has to be number one. Okay, so in other words, we got to change the answer if, for Virginia if she's got the wrong one. All right, Neil's going with number two. Like I said, hasn't been right yet. The other best, number two. Valentine's Day says Aaron Free, the man who has never bought candy on Valentine's Day. Linda says again, I told you my grandma told me. Okay, I got to say, it's hot. Sorry, you guys. It's really hot, it's isn't really it? It's really hot. I know. He's got to be dying because I'm hot. Um, There it is. Here comes the rain. It almost sounds like hail. So we might have to talk a tad oh, louder. Oh, hail, yes. Um, is no. It, what? No, not hail. You guys, it's Christmas. Christmas. It's Christmas. I, I thought that was I way wondered off. how they came to that decision or that conclusion. That just seems like a weird, I mean, I guess they would look at sales for candy, but still, like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That didn't make any sense, honey. Why would it be Christmas? All right. Anyhow, I thought that was very interesting. Oh, Lori says, I'm here because it's bad outside. I can't garden, so I'm here. I just love you two. Really? <laughs> really? So let's just, let's talk to Linda. Let's have a moment of clarity. Uh, so Linda like, says she hangs out with us when it's bad weather. Yeah. Or it's impossible to garden. You know what? Okay, that's just. I don't blame you. I, I just would, I don't know if I can ask this question on this program, but I think we're, I wonder if she would. Like if she was constipated, would 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 we not be able to watch us? Because I don't understand. You know, Virginia said no, they're wrong. I gotta tell you, I thought that was wrong too. Christmas, Christmas. Like, all right, Virginia. In the twenty minutes you have free a day, Google that sucker and figure it out. Yeah. See if you can correct it. I would. Love I do. To I know. That. I thought the same thing. I'm like, how can that be? If that doesn't wrong, even make we, any sense. We would think about mailing Virginia a T-shirt if we were wrong. <laughs> The hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars to mail Virginia it's T-shirt. It's actually over a hundred dollars. No, not going to happen. Okay. I know priorities. You Lauren don't. Lauren Mountbatten Windsor is watching. What a great name. Yeah, that is it. That's Mountbatten. A, that's a very famous name in England. Of course, Windsor. Right, it is. She's related to the Queen somehow. Your Majesty, thank you for joining us. <laughs> All right, Lori Krantz. <laughs> I'm oh, never answer, sitting nice down. One. Yeah, Lori, that's a problem. I understand. All oh, right. Linda it's said, raining. Linda says she's changed her answer so she doesn't lose. Okay. Well, there you go. That's the kind of life she leads. That's There's all I that. Can say. Lawrence, good to have you here. Most people make cookies for Christmas. You know, I know I've I've been trying to debate, like, but I do know like everywhere you go, people have candy sitting out at Christmas, but still, like at Halloween, everybody's buying bags of candy. I would have thought Easter maybe. Like Well, do because you think, of Do you think it's the chocolate chips, is that considered a candy? Because there's a ton of chocolate chips sold at Christmas. Well, there, there could be. That could be it. That could be it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did anybody make, I was going to ask this question. Did you make hard candy when you were a kid? Like, no. you know, you would, and it would be like glass and you would break it. And Let me just have another <laughs> moment of pause about my mother's cooking. Okay, behind her back, Steve and I called her queen of the cans. Because if it didn't come out of a can, my mother didn't cook it. I can honestly say in the history of my mother, she never made a dessert. Her dessert was ice cream for us with chocolate sauce. And then she would put in an ice cream dish 
mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay, Virginia said no way. I think that's priority mail. We looked at several dis different ways of mailing it. You're not getting the a shirt, Virginia. The cheapest was $108. You're not getting a shirt, Virginia. <laughs> oh, if you can tell us how to get it to you, we're, bringing, we're getting you a shirt. Um, okay, so we do have another question. Yes. This is an interesting one. I already knew the answer to this, so you guys might too. Cotton candy was invented by who? And don't say the person reason. whom. I know it's really whom. I think you guys. Is Sorry about that. You had asked me that earlier. I yeah, that's right. my inappropriate English. I thought it would autocorrect if I was wrong, but it didn't do that. Okay, so dentist, confectioner, or a farmer. There you go. Way in, people. Hmm. Cotton candy was invented. Um, how I stay in good standing with my current administration's mother. Cotton candy. She loves cotton candy. Oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. My mom could eat tons of cotton falling. candy. Yeah. Yeah, mine's getting like big. Yeah. yeah. She loves it. Loves cotton candy. It's sugar. The, it's just sugar. The good thing is she doesn't have any teeth, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> mom, are you watching? I just hit him Linda Putt you. says she makes eight to ten different kinds of cookies for Christmas. Just a total of ten cookies. No, don't, don't get excited. It's ten cookies. <laughs> she just gets that... <laughs> the chocolate chip stuff that you slice with a knife. She flattens it out, and one she'll put a peanut on. One she'll put a piece of no. chocolate. On. Yeah. No. You know what? And Virginia knows my friend Larissa. Like she loves baking. Like that is her stress reliever. I and she always would like put me to shame. I I hate, I hate baking. I well, ugh. yeah. Lydell comes with number two. James Brister number two. Phillips comes number one. Donna is coming in with number two. Virginia is just sad faces. Lauren Mountbatten Windsor related to the Queen says. Two. She's probably right. It's spun sugar. Thank you, Pandora. It's oh. spun sugar. It's spun sugar. Pandora. It's air. Do you have to correct everything we say? <laughs> Poor John. That's all I gotta say. It's true. You're right. Michael it's Scott, don't sugar. ask Jim to get too creative in how he gets the shirt to you. <laughs> Good point. Virginia. Actually, it was me looking, so. Yeah. I know. Yep. Okay. So they're given what well, the answer seems to be. I think we're mostly got twos here. Next thing you know, he's, he'll be dressing a homing pigeon in a shirt and seeing it be a pigeon. <laughs> You know him. Who was that? That was Michael Scott. Michael Scott might be a sarcastic line. Is that line of oh, the day? Oh, you know what? That could be line of the day. That could be line of the day. So Scott said homing pigeon. Right. We can remember. Okay. Oh, what are the three? You know what? Oh, right. I know. I'm trying a different way of doing the questions. I like I it. can't find a good way to do these questions. Let's go back. Refer to the question. What are the three? Good old free. Good old free. Yeah, Larissa was the baking queen. She loved to bake. She would do yeah. her own caramels. Really? I'm like, they sell those. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I found out how much sugar's in them, oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a lot. So the cotton candy was invented by who? Uh, okay, Aaron Free, let me give these answers that you can understand. Number one, a dwarf. Number two, a Yeti. And number three, a farmer. Okay, Aaron, okay. there's your answers. Which one? All right. There we go. There we go. Did everybody weigh in? Everybody got in? I think we mostly had threes. Uh, yep, I think that's it. Okay. Trees. Okay, here we go. Okay, wait, Ladies what was and gentlemen. I know I forgot. Okay, I think it's, you guys, it was one. It's a dentist. A dentist. It was originally called um, something floss. Candy floss. Candy I floss? told you that. No, Remember, we grew up in candy Minnesota, candy it was called candy floss. Yeah, candy floss. But you call it cotton candy. Cotton candy. I never heard of uh, uh, okay, candy Lydell. floss. Okay, Lydell. Lydell and Aaron Free, they're the old guys. What did you call it as a kid? Wasn't it candy floss? F L O S S. Why would you guys a hear the rain? Even that is so do stinking that. awesome. I know. Is it? Can you hear us? Okay. I would turn the camera, but uh, you know we'll what? Never I'm gonna, get it set back. Here, I should probably we? check our microphones and make sure. Oh, uh, Randy ain't yelling at us. Randy would yell at you. He's the producer. He might have fallen. He's asleep. our Gelman. Gelman, are you still awake? Gelman, are Gelman? you there? Are you there? Okay. Yeah. Michael Scott says, "Can I change mine to Yeti?" I mean, number one. All right. All right. Yeah, okay, we'll do another one. All right. Here we go. Just because I love these. Who is the candy bar Baby Ruth named after? Is it Babe Ruth, Grover Cleveland's daughter Ruth, or is it just a made-up name? We would play background music, but we don't know how <laughs> during this question. Actually, I really could, but it's a lot more work. This, this program, we just want to tell you, this program could, it could bake a cake oh, if we oh, wanted to. Oh, we can to. hear you, she said. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, <laughs> what? Aaron's, I'm sorry, I'm probably really loud. The, uh, the dentist actually was a farmer as well. Is that, is you know that what? a That's fun very line? Possible. Is that a fun line? Yes, I think that's. We're going to give the Jew credit for that. Aaron Free. One. He's... One, one, two, two. Oh, wow. Look at him flying in. Babe Ruth, Virginia says. Oh, Randy is still there. Yeah, he is. I got it. I'm like, I'm here. 
Okay, Linda says it was candy floss. So maybe oh, that was Minnesota. Oh, Virginia calls it fairy floss. You know what? I can see that because it's airy. That's a cute name. I like really, that Really, Virginia? You're Let's start go calling it that. Floss. Let's call it fairy floss. We could make our own fairy floss and sell it. I think that would be a cute name. I think it would sell. Think your mom would buy it? It's kind of candy. She would, of course, buy it. Yep. <laughs> I, yes. used to, I used to buy my mother-in-law the exotic cotton candies. Remember, they have like my salted, mom? yeah, remember yeah. salted caramel yeah. and all these other flavors. Straight yeah. up sugar. She didn't want it. Just the straight up sugar works for her. Yeah, it was like, there was one pineapple flavored. Yeah, remember I spent like yeah. six bucks on this and she was like, meh, just give me the cheap stuff. Yeah, because she wants the big tub of it. Yeah. You know. All right, Aaron Free says it's Babe Ruth. Michael Scott says number two. Donna says number one, of course. And what happened to Windsor? Where's Windsor? Oh, there she is. Cotton candy in French is Babia de Papilla. Oh, that's really cool. Wait, beard, did she mean beard of Papa? Beard of Papa, yeah. What's well, his beard at Papa? Yeah, it's probably not. She's... Beard of Papa? That's really cute. Lauren I love the name might Papa. Be, Lauren might be our smartest... Uh, we need one of you. Not customer. What are these people? We have some Viewers? smart people, though. Well, yeah. But, but she's maybe more international. She's speaking French. <laughs> Susan Wells watches from Canada. She ain't got a lick of French. Not a lick. She can swear at you in French oh, like a trucker. Awesome. See, All right. she's an Aussie style. I love that. Fairy floss. Tooth fairy I'm floss. referring to his fairy says. floss now. Yeah, the putz is like, so something wrong with the putz. Fairy today. floss. Oh, we should write. Oh, we're going to get the, um, we're going to get frogs talking in a little bit. Yeah. Really fun out here. All right. So, yeah. it, you guys, this is the funny thing. So, actually, Babe Ruth wanted his own candy bar, but the, ba the uh, Baby Ruth was already out. So the company sued him, and they said, no, it's not named after you. It's named after Grover Cleveland's daughter, Ruth. Right. Yeah. We all believe that. Right. Yeah. So anyhow, he didn't get anything for that, and he wasn't able to make his own candy bar. All right. Our French. Useless knowledge. No, but our French that will expert, come in handy. you know, the Mountbatten kid? Yes. She says, beard at Papa. No idea why. Beard at Papa. Okay. Beard at Papa. Linda Putt says, pardon your French, Jim. <laughs> I speak French yeah. because I love Pink Panther movies, and he speaks with the. Okay, French here's the funny thing, and Jim should use more of his accent. So whenever we meet someone from, like the other day, we met this Russian woman while we were walking in our neighborhood, and he starts like talking like in an accent that sounds like kind of Russian, and he knows maybe one. I think he knows two words in Russian. The lady starts talking like she thinks he really speaks Russian. Yeah, it's like woman. Da da. Only two. Yeah, that's that's it. it. There you go. That's all you got. That's it. That's it. Mountbatten says she liked how they doubted my French. Like, <laughs> of, oh, she must mean of. Seriously, Mountbatten? Well, Bantan? you have to understand. We is all, that, is that our type is not. Is that a sarcastic line? That, that, well, actually, it was, yeah. Lauren, are you familiar with this sarcastic line award? <laughs> Let me bring you the sarcastic. Rolling up Wait, my eyes. she speaks French. Uh, we have to talk to her in a little bit higher quality. Yeah. So, Mountbatten. You swine parrot. You swine parrot. <laughs> we, you yeah. filthy French. We have a emotional tooth that we give to the person who has the most sarcastic line of the day. So the Pink Panther, yeah. he's French, right? He is, yeah, right? he's French. Uh, he plays French. All right, so we're going to give Mountbatten. Uh, she is up for Mount uh, line of the day. The audience votes on you. What was her line again? She was smart aleck uh, about They doubted my that French. We doubted her French. Like, yeah. she must mean of. <laughs> well, and again, her real name could be like Becky Johnson or something, but she's picked this, this high-tech... British I gotta tell you, name. if that were my name, I would definitely go with it. Yeah, I know, but if you had a yeah. crappy name, you'd also pick that. Yeah. So we don't know. We somebody should do a background test to check yeah. on her. My sister says my name is sounds like a stripper. <laughs> Michael Scott says je ne plus français bien, and then Linda Putt says parlez vous français. That is not my dog. And then Lauren says, shout out to Michael Scott for liking all my posts and siding with me. Lauren, there's no private talk here on this. This is all about me. Okay? Honey, they, they private talk all the time. They do? Yeah. Beth they says, laugh. that is not my dog. That is not oh, my dog. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Yeah. I just watched all four of them, I think I told you, with my nephew, Scott. Right. Yeah. So right. He's, yeah. He's a chemistry teacher I wasn't at there. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. I had Spent the, the whole, whole day, day to myself. Spent, we watched all four of them in the Warrior House. There was nobody here at the time. Randy was with us, though, and we ate pizza. You guys, they sped through them. Oh, it like, was awesome. Like, no beginning, no, you know, no end. Yeah, they get just, rid of the fluffy stuff. Yeah, get right? down to the real They were meat. serious. That's right. All right, French takes over <laughs> this chat. <laughs> Swine French. All right. All right, one more question, then yeah. we'll go to... Okay, so how many M&Ms are made in a day? Oh. I know. Oh. Perplexing questions you've always wondered oh. about. A All billion, right. 400 million. 
800 million. My money's on Aaron Free to get this one wrong. Oh, you know what? I forgot our question. I forgot one of the things. You did? Yeah. You're going to switch now? Chocolate. Okay, we're going to do two questions at one time. It's a twofer. Yeah. Okay, I think oh, we can do this. It's a twofer. It's a twofer. Get it? Get it's it, people? Twofer. It's a twofer. Okay, so we're going to have that question. Yep, that question. Because that's really not that interesting. None of us it's really remember that. Anyway. Okay, but then there's this that I forgot. I just skipped right over. Oh, so you sorry, did. fellas. You're fine. Oh. All right, you guys, you can buy these. It's chocolate covered dill pickles. Okay, that just to me. I usually like sweet and salty, but not that. Minnesota State Fair was the first time I tried chocolate covered bacon. Wait, real quick. That's a yes or no. Just say yes or yeah, no. Yeah, yes that. or no. You like that? Guys, weigh in on that. Now, Aaron Free is on the question. I see we lost him now. No, okay, um, one. I can't remember what my answer uh, The are. question, yeah, you better put that one back up. Okay, the M which one? The pickles or the? No, so the other would one. you guys eat a chocolate covered pickle? Yeah, we're going to talk about yes that after no? this, but they're already answering that. Okay. So Aaron Free's on three, which is probably a wrong answer. Anna Kane <laughs> one. <laughs> Linda Putt says, I'm asking all of your friends to friend me, Jim, because you don't like sharing. Heather Bemis says three. Michael Scott says one, but a billion. Linda Putt says three. Randy Phillips, nasty. Beth, 38 million. Uh, and then, okay, great. Now Mountbatten is answering everything in French. Oh, okay, I, Mountbatten okay. says, quatia cent million. Okay. Uh, Pandora oh. says, that looks gross. Well, I think that'd be four. I have no idea. The other best says, yes, Mike, she would eat it. Michael Scott says, um, no. Randy Phillips says, no. Anna Kane says, no. I know. Outbat Mount no, Batten no. says, we. Oui. Uh, Donna Chocolate says, no. The putt says, no, thanks. Virginia has a huge no. I know. It's a no. That yeah, is a Heather no Heather Bemis go. would do yes, but Heather will eat anything. Trust me. No. Neil Green says, yes, he would eat it. But he also said the answer is number two. I know. Chocolate pickles. That's no. We, I want to know what's the, yeah, the, the weirdest chocolate covered thing they've eaten because yeah. Minnesota has a ton of that, especially at the fair. I had well, chocolate covered bacon. They fry everything at the yeah. fair too. All right, so they the answer to then, the question, you got to okay. put that up. It's it's four hundred million, four hundred yeah. million a day. They said it would cover or they it, it would, would fill, uh, a fill a pool. A, Olympic size pool. Oh, There's that's a big right. difference. Yeah. It's got to be an Olympic size pool. That's four hundred yeah. million M Ms. And now day. there's like 12 flavors of M and M's. I right. think something like that. Exactly. Eddie Hornback, welcome to the program, Eddie. Sherry Bratcher's watching. We got to clean up the program. All right, Aaron Free says, why does it take Jim eight hours to make chocolate chip cookies? He first has to peel the M&Ms. <laughs> who said that? Aaron, who else? Oh, that's really All good. Right, if Nate, I'm going to call Nathan Free and just tell him to go over and slap his dad. I think I, I know, that. vinegar. That's what I was thinking, chocolate and vinegar, because it's got vinegar. You can't make pickles Michael without Scott vinegar. Michael Scott says that. Okay, yeah, but Buffalo yeah. puts vinegar on everything. They put vinegar on French fries that's and everything. No. It's Heather no. Bemis says, nah, that's not true. I love, I have lots of allergies. Randy Phillips says, what about Bob? Where is Bob tonight? Well, you know what? We were thinking about you guys maybe moving to Thursday. So, you know, because we're not on Wednesdays anymore because I couldn't do that many that fast. So Mondays and Thursdays. What do you guys think about yeah, that? Yeah, weigh in on that. Can we go Monday, Thursday and move off Friday? Would yeah. that work for you? Because I think people go do things on Friday night. I mean, now that we can kind of get out. A little bit. Yeah. I think most days can kind of get out. They're in phase one. Or Pandora says she was right. Sherry Bratcher says hi, my friends. And uh, what? There you go. What about Bob? Je uh, Mountbatten says je te Okay, oh. so she's correct. Oh, you're calling him. Yeah, he won't pick up. He knows what we're doing. Oh, yeah. that's the other thing I had. Yeah. What that's else right. you got? Oh. No. Well, we're kind of we're at the end here. Oh yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to show. Thank that. you for joining. You know that nope. kind of. You guys, Bob didn't pick up the phone. That's not a good sign. It means he's stuck on a toilet somewhere and he's in pain. That's all I can say. <laughs> See, he's got to go to. We don't have Soderlund in Soderlund. Oh, he just texted me, I think, to yeah. tell me why he missed the show. All right, so anyhow, what do you guys think about if we went to. Thursday. Let me check my schedule. Okay, to Thursday. Monday and Thursday seems to make sense to. Yeah. Pandora says she has to check her schedule, her dog walking schedule. Bob got a new friend. <laughs> Bob got a new friend. The other best Mondays says, okay Thursday. to Thursday. Michael says, Monday and Thursday seems to make sense to me. Neil Green says, Mondays and Thursdays because he's retired. Yeah, my dad's retired. Hey, Dad, we got people coming down to the house. Yeah, buddy. I told you. I, we told we you earlier, but here. some other people have joined. We have a triple amputee coming. Yeah. Uh, and he's going to show up next week. Next week. Okay, and then the other thing is my kidney stone surgery for... Uh, Pebbles yeah, and Bam Bam. Yeah, I was going to come earlier, but we can't. Yeah, I couldn't get We got to get Pebbles and Bam Bam out of there. Yeah, so I have that surgery on Tuesday, you guys. The... He's got to be there by himself. Yeah, 6 a.m. He's scared. I got to show up. That's right. Yeah. Can't drink. I'll be nothing. outside in the parking lot. 
Just Monday is best, Randy says. Oh, Jimmy Brasher says hi. Tell Jimmy, Reverend Jimmy Brasher, we said hello. Oh, uh, JJ, we can't do Tuesdays and Thursdays. We got to do Mondays and Thursdays, right? Yeah. Uh, JJ. I need a, I need more of a like a quarantine break. customer. I got other work I got to do. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Lori says it's raining. I'll be there. Okay. okay. Be yeah, here. Lori will only come if it's raining. That's true. Boy, Monday and Thursday. All right. So make a, a note of it. We'll switch. She's it. the one with the pretty gardens. Yeah. Yeah. She's her ridiculous. gardens look beautiful. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah. Um, so Mondays and Thursdays. Right. I think we're going to go to Mondays and Thursdays. Now, we need you to weigh in on this, you guys. So here's the line of the day. Oh, James yeah. James Brister says, Jim needs a shower. That was his line. Scott, uh, Michael Scott says, uh, homing pigeon. Something about a homing pigeon. Oh, yeah, because that he, you're, that's yeah. how you would get the T-shirt. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Aaron Free says, the dentist is also a farmer when we asked the question. Yep. He was that trying was to cover funny. his butt. And then, of course, Mount Batten once does, is smart aleck the whole time her. about doubting her French. <laughs> Which I, is fair. Yeah, it is. But I think I might go with Mount Batten tonight. You guys want to weigh in. So the the, uh, the entrants are Jim James wow. Brister, Michael Scott, Aaron Free, or the French chick. What in the word did Aaron just say? Apache Fargate Avort Bestate. Did right. I just cuss? Uh, Lauren, can you just check that out? Because I he might be speaking in tongues. But I think it is just really, really, um, it's redneck French. I think is what we got here. <laughs> I think this is redneck French. So Donna, if you, I mean, uh, not Donna, Montbatten, take a look at that and see. So if you know that, uh, Linda Putt says every day is fine. Linda says, because she's just sitting around drinking. <laughs> you know what? It's so bad. I have known I can't Linda since him. she was like 17. I need the mute button. I like he needs to come with a mute button. Candy Ditkowski just joined. Candy, you missed the show. It was all this about you. This was a show you. all about you. We spent an entire hour talking about candy. Candy, candy, candy. Yeah. Yep, you missed it. You got to go back and watch it. Make the mailman watch it. Yeah. It's about mail- candy. Who delivers the most candy on our watch list? Who's that? Who delivers the most candy? What you think? He, oh, because he's a mailman. He's a saying? mailman. Yeah. So he's delivering candy. Of course he is. If you mail somebody candy, who delivers it? Yeah, I guess. Do people mail a lot of candy? I guess they probably do. I did. Most of my girlfriends, I did. Oh, he says that's Yiddish. Yiddish. Oh, it's Yiddish? Why did Aaron oh. Free say... Oh, Aaron Free is... Talking. What? <laughs> I missed it completely. Oh, Aaron's well, voting yeah. for himself. Jim Brister voted for himself. Aaron Free, we don't care what he says. Um, Linda Putz is going with Michael. Um, Mondays and Thursdays says Bemis. She never shows up, though, so we're not going by her decision. Every day is fine. All right, so... Uh, your people aren't weighing in much yeah, on that. Yeah, well, they said, um, wait a minute. It says Michael, one, what was one? James uh, Brister, Brister, Yiddish, James Brister, two for, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron. You can't count. Oh, yeah, there's not that many. Okay, I think really it might be James Brister, but we could go with uh, Lauren. I think we're going with the French lady. That was kind of brought some class to the program. Okay. Can you guys hear the thunder? I love thunder. I know. We've got, we've got some i got to get my golf on. clubs go out in the backyard and play a little. <laughs> Um, you can get on the course is really cheap right now. Yeah, because it's free. Yeah, that's right. They don't want you out there. All right, so Mountbatten, we're going to present you with an emotional tooth. Uh, should we give her the dirty one or the clean one? No, because she's... She gets yes, a clean one. Okay, you get the clean, clean tooth. One. You're able... You are uh, have rights to possess this emotionally, mentally, and spiritually until when? Until uh, Monday. Monday. That's right. Monday, you have to turn it back in. Neil Green kept this one too long, and it's been chewed, gnawed, and you can see it's dirty. So we got a little tired of that. We don't know if we're going to ever give him one again. The candy man. So there you go. So Candy Didkowski, thank you for joining. And the whole show was about you today, and you completely missed it. But anyway, Mountbatten, this is yours. Thank you much. Just reach towards the screen if you would. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that about re- we're about the end there. I think we're about little the fella. end. We want to pray for Minnesota. Yeah, you guys. Well, not just Minnesota. The whole yeah. situation. I mean, there's yep. like riots across the United States, and I mean, we got to figure out a ways to handle these issues i mean it's some serious issues it is it's really serious and we we don't want to make fun of it but this is not the program where we do a lot of the discussion you got 27 news channels in the other room yeah that you can check those out we're here to help make you laugh and to forget about some of the craziness of the world right and so we pray for minnesota and we pray that god's going to give people wisdom and strength and understanding and you know what that there's going to be some love right we saw that linda matthews uh, linda tronic yeah matthews is oh okay yeah so Linda went down uh, town to just kind of be strong. Right. And, she wanted to be the hands and feet. Yeah, and go which down. I think is very cool. Yeah, that guys. was cool. We made a living, if you want to call it that. But Debbie and I made a living of going to places where people were rioting and people were in trouble and people are hungry and thirsty yeah. and all that stuff. So right. we're going to pray for Minnesota. All there right? we go. 
All right, Jesus, you're amazing. We thank you, God, for your peace in our lives. We pray for peace for Minnesota and understanding. We pray that the sides, we know it's impossible to get them together, but Jesus, you would bring peace most of all. We thank you for that and that your will will be done in this process. In Jesus' name, we pray for those that are in Minnesota that are watching us. Uh, we ask that you would give them great grace and understanding, Lord. We bind anger. Anger never answers anything, Lord. And so help us to get off our angry benches, Lord, on both sides. And we ask for peace, Lord, in Jesus' name. And pray for my kidneys, Lord, that you're going to get these things out on one time. I don't want to have to do it twice, Jesus. So thank you so much, Lord, and we love you. Amen. Amen. Score. There you go, kids. All right, guys. It was so good talking to you, and we'll see you then. Wait. On, oh. We have a video going out. So this oh, is for Candy do. Ditkowski. Right. We do have a – and we'll probably be taken down after that because it's, you know, copyright protected. Probably not. It might not be. <laughs> it's 60 years old, so it might be. I know. Old. It's really an old song, but it's a goodie. All right. All right. Here we go. Love there you, you go, guys. guys. Thanks a lot. Sugar. Can I have a separate recording?